Hey everybody, this is Stellar Firefly with a video about how to connect a DAISY client to a GTX Gaming DAISY server, the official version. Why would there be an unofficial version? In short, this video will detail the method for which GTX Gaming itself can provide technical support because this method uses only the ARMA2 Operation Arrowhead software. The other methods make use of third-party applications, namely popular launcher software such as DAISY Commander and DAISY Launcher. That's it, really. That's the only difference. Note that this does not mean that those other launchers won't work with GTX gaming servers. Actually, they work pretty well. It just means that if you have problems with them, or you otherwise have any trouble in using them, then any technical support for it will have to come from the developers of those launchers, and not from GTX gaming, or any other server providers for that matter. Still, there are definite advantages to using those third-party launchers, or otherwise nobody would use them. And so if you're interested in those, then keep an eye open for my other video on how to connect to GTX Gaming DAISY servers, the unofficial version. But for now, here's the straightforward, no frills, but solid, always works, and officially supported method. To use this method, you need no other software than Steam, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, and the mods and maps in question. You know, all the stuff required to run it in the first place. You will also need to know exactly which mods and map are being used by the server you wish to connect to. You also may want to know the IP and port number for your server, or at least the name that you gave to your server. You'll need to know one or the other to figure out which server is yours. And finally, you'll need to run the latest Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead beta version. We'll make sure that you've upgraded to this latest beta first. Open up Steam and head over to your game's library. Find Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, also known as A2OA, right-click on it, choose Properties, and then go to the Betas tab. In the drop-down labeled Select the Beta you would like, make sure that you select the A2OA Beta. It'll show up simply as Beta and a dash, like this. Then go to the Local Files tab and click on the Verify Integrity of Game Cache button. This will make certain that you have the very latest beta version of A2OA, which is exactly what you want. If you did not already have the latest beta version installed, then after you do this integrity check, Steam will automatically download and install any files needed to get you fully updated. Just wait for it to finish and you're ready to continue. Now we need to set things up so that launching A2OA will automatically load the DAISY related mods that we're interested in. If necessary, head back to your games library and right click on A2OA again, select properties, and go to the general tab, and click on the set launch options button. This will open up an input dialog with a single text field. Begin by typing dash mod equals. What you type next into this text field depends entirely upon what mods and maps will be running on the server that you wish to connect to, because now we must type in a list of mods and or maps separated by semicolons. When connecting to a server running only the Daisy Epic mod, then just add at Daisy underscore epic semicolon like this. When connecting to a server running only the DAISY Overwatch mod, then just add at DAISY Overwatch semicolon like this. However, if running the hybrid Overpock mod, which is a combination of both Epic and Overwatch, then you must add at DAISY Overwatch semicolon at DAISY underscore Epic semicolon like this. One very important thing to note is that the order of these mods matter. Overwatch must be listed before Epic, just like I've done here. Change the order, and your game will crash to the desktop with an error when you try to join it. Note that we didn't add any map names. If your server is running on the Chernaris map, then no map name is needed. That's the default map. However, if your server is running a custom map, then that map must also be listed here. To find out how it must be listed, head over to your server's TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Map Packs icon, then select the map that you installed in the map pack dropdown. Note that it won't automatically be selected for you, even if you've already installed it, so you'll have to select it again. In this example, let's suppose that we installed the linger map, so we'll select it here. Now scroll to the very bottom of the page and you can see the different launch options that you need to use. So if we're running linger with only epic, then we would have to use this first value, dash mod equals at daisy linger semicolon at daisy underscore epic semicolon. If we're running linger with overpock, for example, then we would use this last value, dash mod equals at daisy linger semicolon, at daisy overwatch semicolon, at daisy underscore epic semicolon. You can just select and copy the text from here and then go back to your A2OA launch options dialog and paste it there. Now we're set up to connect to the server. 
Just fire up Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, and when you reach the splash screen, you should see info all around letting you know that the Epic and or Overwatch mods were loaded, and any custom maps as well. Now we click on the Multiplayer button, and we can see all sorts of multiplayer servers being listed. If we wait a while, our own server will show up, but of course it can be hard to find in such a huge list. We have two options to more quickly find it. We can either click on the Filter button and type in some text, and then press OK. That should narrow down the list. This method may still take a minute or two, though, because when we set a filter, the game refreshes the entire list again, and then shows all our servers that match our filter. Our other option is to click on the Remote button, and then type in the IP address and port number specifically for our server, and then press the OK button. If we've used this method before, then the last IP and port number that we used will still show here, which can be very convenient. This method will make the server show up right away, and all by itself. When we find our server, just select it and press the Join button, or just double-click it. And that's it! The straightforward, solid, official way to connect to your GTX Gaming DayZ server. It works especially well for those of you who always play on a specific server that you call home. And if you're the owner or an admin, then chances are that includes you. Don't forget to tell your players how to log in as well, and give them your connection IP and port numbers. Thank you all for watching. Please like or subscribe if you feel so inclined. And as always, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.